One morning, Gary went hunting before school. He parked his truck off school property with his unloaded shotgun locked inside. He went to class. But when his school principal caught wind that Gary had been hunting that morning, he questioned him. And when he told him the truth, his school year was destroyed. They called him a threat and expelled him. They barred him from school activities. They banned him from his prom. They blackmailed him as a bad kid, not because he did anything wrong, but just because he could. This young man and his mom had nowhere to turn except to the NRA. And NRA members answered that call. Take a look at this video to see what they had to say about their ordeal. Because if this isn't a fight worth waging, I don't know what is. I don't understand how they can keep saying I was on campus when it's clearly off campus. I was so upset because he was not on the school grounds and he was affected by an illegal search and seizure. Having a shotgun is not illegal. Having a shotgun at 16 in California is not illegal. They're painting this picture of you of somebody, the principal said, you know, we were concerned about that he could be a threat. What were you thinking when you heard that? It's just confusing. I'm just a normal kid in this town. Everyone hunts, everyone gets a few referrals once in a while, but nothing to like make me look like a bad kid, I don't think so. In their heart of hearts, they don't believe he's a threat in any way, shape, or form. All of what they bring up is to support what seems to me to be very anti-gun and anti-common sense. What did you think when you saw that room filled of people, many who you don't even know, but there to support you? I'm glad they're there to support me because this is a small town and people just need to use common sense. I think it strikes a chord with people because Gary's being punished because he isn't what the administration feel is what should be mainstream. And yet in our town, Gary is mainstream. Where do you think you'd be if you didn't have the help of the NRA behind you? I wouldn't have had a lawyer at the hearing and it wouldn't stand up as much if it was just me and my mom. It's been huge because they're an organization of people who understand the importance of the Constitution for the document that it was meant to be. It's what makes our country what it is. I'm proud of Gary and his mom for sticking up for their rights. They couldn't be here today, but I know they're watching live on NRANews.com. Let's show them how proud we are. I'm also proud of Chuck Michelle and the California State Rifle and Pistol Association and all the NRA members who stood up for Gary. Some gun owners drove hundreds of miles to attend the school board hearing on Gary's case. The board declared that the principal abused his power. How about that? They reinstated Gary, cleared his name, and apologized to him. <laughs> Gary's victory was a victory for the rights of all of us. What if NRA members had not come to Gary's defense? And what if this abuse of freedom had been allowed to stand? Every other student would have gotten the message that guns were evil, hunting was bad, and their rights didn't matter. You know, Gary's story isn't big enough for national news, but for Gary, there was no bigger story in his life than that, and no bigger story for NRA members who care about freedom. Because if they can take it away from one, they can take it away from all. There are no small fights for freedom and no small things 
we can do to defend it. Because the stroke of every defense of liberty for one paints the larger portrait of American freedom for all. Each one of us can add our own personal stroke for freedom every day in our own community. Like those NRA members who drove to Gary's hearing, most of them didn't even know Gary, but they showed up because for them, freedom is personal. Let's all make it personal by voting for freedom and also by getting other gun owners to vote, by going to the range and talking about our rights, by taking a neighbor shooting or hunting for the first time, by supporting UNRA's political efforts. Even the simple act of wearing your NRA hat sends a message everywhere and everybody that sees it. They say that if you take care of the little things, the big things will work out for themselves. But I say that the little things are the big things. Every little thing you do is what defends freedom. Defending freedom really means. America is known as the land of the free because it's the one place where every one person can be free. And that personal freedom can be expressed no more than through the Second Amendment. The right to keep and bear arms is unique in America. I believe, and I'm sure that you believe, that it is the one right that protects all others. And it is the one right that guarantees above all other rights we can each live personally free. Ten years ago, in this place, you lit fire to a new revolution, a great expansion of our Second Amendment rights. But everyone in this room and every NRA member knows that the fight never ends. We know that the moment freedom is lost is the moment we stop defending it. Charlton Heston reminded us of that 10 years ago. He knew then what I know today, that freedom's defense rests with you and your fellow four million NRA members, and that we will never stop defending freedom for one and for all, because for you and me, freedom is personal. Thank you and God bless you.